Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Here we have it, the Ryobi 40 volt, 15 inch adjustable string trimmer. It is battery operated. It is a popular option these days to run a battery because we don't have to go to the gas station and fill up a jerry can and you know, fill up our tools with gas or drag around an electric cord all over the place and have the possibility of cutting it during the process of trimming our grass. So before we go into the pros and cons of this tool, we're gonna get into the price and the key features first. The price of this tool varies on whether or not you need the battery. If you do not need a battery, you're looking at about $178 Canadian. If you would like a battery, you're looking at about $238 Canadian. The $60 difference can be worth it if you're looking for an extra battery. What's another video without wearing a pair of Crocs? Here I'm gonna show you how the bump head feature works which feeds out the string, but we're gonna talk about this more in depth later. Power is applied using a variable speed trigger, which simply means that the tool isn't just on or off, but you can control the intensity at which the string spin based on how hard you push on the trigger. A lighter push will result in a lower spin rate, and a harder push will re result in a higher spin rate. The benefits of pushing lightly, you'll just save more battery life. And now we're gonna get to my favorite feature, which is the one that saves space, it saves money, it's called the expanded feature that this tool has. And all it is, is you unscrew this, hit the safety here, and the head comes off. So you have a head, you have a handle, and now guess what? You can go out and buy multiple heads, like brush cutters, hedge trimmers, pruners, and then throw it on the same handle. How fantastic is that? Saves so much space. Um, unfortunately, I only have one head for this tool so far. But when I get more, I'll let you know, I'll review them, and we can take a look at them together. Another key feature of this tool, however, I don't know how great it is, is the adjustable string length. By default, it's set at 15 inches, and to make it 13, you just flip the blade around, and it'll cut it at 13 inches. If you guys know why you would want to use a shorter string length, please let me know in the comments, because I have really no idea. Like, what's the benefit to it? So the last feature I want to talk to you about is the battery itself right the convenience of the battery like i said before we're not going around playing with gasoline plugging in electric cords right we're using the battery it's got great power great runtime, and it's interchangeable with about 75 other tools which is absolutely fantastic and now it's time to move on to some of the pros First thing I'm going to tell you is that this tool is simple, easy to use, not a lot of knickknacks, and I'm going to show you this just by how simple it is to put it together when it's straight out of the box. First we're going to take the tape off that's covering the blade underneath the guard. Watch your fingers, it can be sharp. Then we're going to unscrew the guard bolt. Then we're going to fit the guard, put the bolt back in. To press the safety mechanism on the head side of the pole and attach it to the trigger side of the pole and then tighten the safety nut. Then you can install the handle by removing the screw and placing it over the tool where indicated and try not to break a glass table while you're at it. You place back the screw and tighten it down. After charging the battery, just slide it in the trigger side, and there you have it. The tool's ready to go. Bump heads are pretty standard on these types of tools, but what makes this one stand out is how fast you can add new string. Check it out. All you gotta do, line up the arrows, arrow here, arrow here, right? Then you're gonna take your string, you're gonna pass it through. It's gonna come out the other end. Now, we're gonna take this string and we're gonna make sure that they're both even lengths, right? So that once we get it to an even length, it's hard. I'm trying to keep the camera in sight here, right? So now we're pretty much even. They give you this tool to put around, right? So you can start cranking it. But why do you even need to use the tool when it's just as easy to use your fingers, right? Now you can see it's winding, winding up. 
and there you go, right? You got your string that fits inside and you're ready to go again. And now it's time for some of the cons. As you can see, the bump feed system on this tool is great. However, the problem with it is that the bump pad is made of plastic and this is gonna slowly start to disintegrate and deteriorate and you're gonna have trouble lining up your refeeds and uh, eventually you're gonna have to replace this piece. We need to remember that this tool is ideal for about one acre of land of light to medium yard work. So if we're gonna go past that boundary or push those limits, you might experience a little heat coming off the battery end of the tool, which can get uncomfortable if you happen to touch it. Speaking of the battery, bigger isn't always better. Having a bigger battery leads to longer charge times, and that's why I recommend having two batteries. Depending on your height or the position in which you put your handle, the bigger battery might lead to balance issues because it adds extra weight to the rear of the tool and some might find that uncomfortable. Also, after bump feeding, the string might take a while to cut and lead to some pretty bad racket. So here's an experience I had where I tried to take down what basically was a small tree. And by doing so, we had a little issue where the trimmer just stopped. So I waited a second and it started right up again. I guess it was just overwhelmed. Um, however, I went back at the, the tree again and it, uh, it ended up cutting through. So this tool definitely has its limits, but uh, if you're doing, like I said, for light to medium, you know, yard work with weeds and not trees, you'll be fine. We all want to save time, money, and space, and the fact that this tool can provide that is a great feature. If you haven't liked the video already, please leave a like and subscribe if you're not. Catch you in the next one.